Welcome to the Women Who Code Days of Code Challenge. My name is Stephanie Rideout, Digital Community Specialist here at Women Who Code. Let's get started. Women Who Code is an inclusive community dedicated to providing an empowering experience for everyone who participates in or supports our community. Our events are intended to inspire women to excel in technology careers, and anyone who's here for this purpose is welcome. We do not tolerate harassment of members in any form. Our code of conduct applies to all Women Who Code events, including this challenge, and our online communities, including our Slack communities. You can read the full version or access the incident report form at our website at this link. At Women Who Code, our mission is to empower diverse women to excel in technology careers. Our vision, a tech industry where diverse women and historically excluded people thrive at every level. Let's start by meeting the team. As I mentioned, I'm Stephanie Rideout, Digital Community Specialist here at Women Who Code, and I'm joined by Gracia Castaldi, our Program Manager of Digital Community. We also have an amazing team of leadership fellows. They include Bhavya for blockchain, Nancy for data science, Navati for mobile, Rashmi for cloud, Luz for front end, and Eliza with Python. Let's learn a little bit about the challenge. Are you ready for a fun coding challenge with the supportive community? We are so excited to announce the Women Who Code Days of Code Challenge starting on Monday, January 9th, 2023. And this is hosted by our digital track communities. The Women Who Code Days of Code Challenge will be an amazing opportunity to practice your coding skills daily in an interactive and supportive community environment. All coding levels are invited. The, code, the challenge goal is to code every day for a selected number of days. You will be able to select the level of commitment that works best for you and your schedule while focus on, focusing on your chosen tech stacks. So how do, how do you participate? So first you'll select your commitment level and you'll determine the tech stacks that you wanna focus on. Then you're going to submit a commitment registration form. You'll code every day for your selected number of days and you'll share your progress with the Slack community. So your commitment level is the number of days you will commit to the challenge. So here are the options that we have for the challenge. You can do seven days, 10 days, 14 days, 30 days, or 100 days. And you can select any of these numbers. We just wanna celebrate how much you are able to accomplish. So next, you can choose how many minutes per day you wanna to commit to the challenge. Um, and it's okay if your time changes each day. So maybe that's less than 30 minutes per day, 30 minutes a day, 45, 60, or more than 60. So you'll also choose the tech stacks that you wanna focus on. So here are some ideas. It's not limited to this set of ideas, blockchain, web three, cloud, data analysis, visualization, computer, I'm oh, sorry, data science, front end, machine learning, AI, mobile, Python, full stack web development, or other. You will choose which programming languages, tools, and technologies you wanna focus on. There are some examples here on this slide, but these are just some ideas. There's so many, there's probably hundreds of different um, areas that you could choose to focus on. Um, so you're not limited to this list, but here are a few ideas, everything from C++, C++ HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Java, Python, R, SQL, Swift, and more. So you'll also choose which activities you want to do during the challenge. If you're not sure yet um, what activities you'd like to do, or if you want some inspiration, do not worry. We're gonna be sharing a lot of resources on Slack, and on our GitHub repo, and we'll be sharing all of that with you very soon. So to get you started, here are some examples of activities you can do during the challenge. So you could code along with a <clears throat> live or previous Women Who Code study group, such as our Beginner Python study group, Machine Learning study group, or Swift study group. We also have several live um, events coming up that you can attend as well. Code along with a Women Who Code um, YouTube recording. So we have 
thousands of different videos on our YouTube channel uh, with a lot of amazing technical content. You can also code along with a free online course, such as free code camp, <clears throat> develop um, your own project or work on a project feature. So if you're working on a project or plan to work on a project, you know, all of that qualifies for this challenge. You can contribute code to an open source project. You can also practice syntax for a new programming language using a resources, a resource such as um, W3 schools. You are invited to regularly share your progress on the Code Challenge channel on Slack. Join in at least once per week to celebrate achievements. And this is an amazing opportunity to encourage and interact with other participants and have a lot of fun. <clears throat> so how to join. So as I mentioned, you'll want to join <clears throat> the General Women Who Code Slack community. Once you're there, you'll join the Code Challenge channel. After watching this video, you can now submit the commitment registration form. The challenge itself will start on Monday, January 9th. So you'll start that um, in the comfort of your own schedule um, anytime starting Monday, January 9th. Engage on the Slack channel at least once per week to share your progress and celebrate others' achievements. So in order to submit the commitment registration form, you can find that here at this link, womenwhocode.com slash days dash of dash code. So let's just go over a few frequently asked questions. Is the Days of Code Challenge international? Yes, Women Who Code is a global community. The challenge is happening 100% virtually on Slack and everyone around the world is welcome to participate. Do I need to participate in the challenge each day at a specific time? So no, you can select any time on each day that works best for you and your schedule, whether that's in early in the morning, during your lunch hour, or late in the evening. Um, some different scenarios. I'm new to coding with a specific programming language, or I consider myself to be an advanced coder. Is this challenge for me? Yes, absolutely. Everyone is invited to participate and we are welcoming all coding levels to join the challenge. You can choose the activities and resources you feel are best for your individual coding level and goals. Is the Days of Code challenge free? Yes, there is no charge, um, no cost to participate in the challenge programming. <clears throat> I'm new to the Women Who Code community. Can I still participate? Yes. <laughs> welcome to Women Who Code. We are so excited you're here. Everyone is welcome to participate, um, whether you've been in the community um, for a long time or if this is your first day. So this is awesome. All right. I'm learning about this challenge after the start date. Can I still participate? Yes. We will keep the commitment registration form open after the start date so you can still sign up and participate in the challenge. I originally signed up for seven days of code and I would like to commit to more days. How can I extend my commitment? So this, qualify, this question regards if you have any set number of days you're originally committed to, but you want to commit and add more days. So absolutely. So you just need to resubmit um, the commitment registration form. So it's basically submit it again with your new commitment total. So if you originally chose seven days and now you want to do 30 days total, select 30 days from the drop down. I have questions about the challenge or women who code. Where can I get my questions answered? Please ask your questions in the code challenge channel on the general women who code Slack community. There will be a pinned thread where you can post your questions and we will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. How can I continue to be involved after the challenge? Our women who code digital communities have amazing events and programs all year long. After the challenge, we will share more about joining our communities, connecting with our leaders and continuing to connect code and learn within this community. So thank you everyone so much for joining today. So I look forward to seeing you all participate in the challenge. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have a lot of fun and 
Um, I just look forward to all of you um, participating and I will see you all very soon. Bye.